Thank you for your interest in these incredible machines. They have supported us in war and peace. Let us remember those heroic crews too. The Lavishkin LA-5 was a Soviet fighter aircraft of World War II. It was a development and refinement of the LAG-3, replacing the earlier model's inline engine with the much more powerful Shvetsov ASH-82 radial engine. During its time in service, it was one of the Soviet Air Force's most capable types of warplane, able to fight German designs on an equal footing. The LA-5 descended from the LAG-1 and LAG-3 aircraft designed by Vladimir Golbunov before the Second World War. The LAG-1 was underpowered, and the LAG-3, with a lighter airframe and a stronger engine, did not solve the problem. By early 1942, the LAG-3's shortcomings led to Lavishkin falling out of Joseph Stalin's favor, and LAG-3 factories converting to Yakovlev Yak-1 and Yak-7 production. In mid-1943, a new LA-5 was captured by the Germans after making a forced landing at a German airfield. The aircraft was assessed by Luftwaffe test pilot Hans Werner Lurch. Lurch noted that the LA-5 FN excelled at altitudes below 3000 m, but suffered from short range and flight time of only 40 minutes at cruise engine power. All of the engine controls had separate levers, which forced the pilot to make constant adjustments during combat or risk suboptimal performance. For example, rapid acceleration required moving no less than six levers. In contrast, contemporary German aircraft with the BMW 801 used the Kommandogerat engine computer system that automatically controlled all of these settings from a single throttle lever. Due to airflow limitations, the engine boost system could not be used above 2000 m. Stability in all axes was generally good. The authority of the ailerons was deemed exceptional, but the rudder was insufficiently powerful at lower speeds. At speeds in excess of 600 km per hour, the forces on control surfaces became excessive. Horizontal turn time at 1000 m and maximum engine power was 25 seconds. Thanks, you have reached the end of the journey. Take care, see you pretty soon. Safe flight.